Ah, the biggest sports game franchise in the planet. The most popular football game in the planet. Today I want to talk about a once great game series that was once on par with the likes of Minecraft in popularity and one that hasn't been the same since then. EA Sports, it's in the game. The FIFA series. Now, I already ranted on that before, but I thought that video was poorly made, and in fact, for quite some time now, I wanted to remake the video, and I thought now would be the perfect time considering how disappointing FIFA 19 was to a lot of people, especially those that buy FIFA for career mode, including myself. The FIFA series has gone downhill for a long time now. Ever since Ultimate Team started making EA so much money, the series has declined both quality and popularity wise. Now don't get me wrong, FIFA is still popular, but FIFA used to be the absolute peak of streaming games and making let's plays. Uh, Fortnite right now is like what, used, what FIFA used to be when it comes to how popular the game was. Everyone talked about it, everyone wanted to play it, everyone liked it. KSI for example was one of the biggest FIFA content creators in YouTube. So, what went downhill from there? Well, okay, so in Ultimate Team you have a thing called packs. Packs are items you can get with FIFA coins to get stuff such as players to use for your team, manager or player contracts, or even abilities like giving your player higher stamina or higher attributes. Now that sounds like a great idea, right? Yes it is, but EA abused that. They saw how everyone wanted a 94 rated Lino Messi or 92 rated Cristiano Ronaldo but find a challenge to get one of the two, let alone both. So EA followed the practice that other publishers such as Activision have and use microtransactions. They allowed people to use real money to get FIFA coins as an alternative to earning them by playing online matches. This kind of practice is called pay to win. It actually worked out for EA and benefited them a lot financially. Am I shocked? Nope, not at all. So, since EA earned so much out of FIFA users using their wallet or even their mom's wallet on FIFA points, they stopped caring about making changes to the games each year. They realized how many copies of FIFA they were making and selling plus how much money they made from these FIFA points no matter how different the games were each year and that they have come to the conclusion of saying we don't care we're making money so let's just milk it. EA has been so satisfied by the income from FIFA each year that they stopped caring for pro clubs and even the game mode that started it all. Career mode. Career mode is my favorite game mode in FIFA, it's the only reason I still play it when I don't have anyone to play kickoff mode against. The idea of being a manager, customizing the team to your liking with transfers and the youth academy as well is taking a mid-table team to Champions League glory is appealing to me. But EA doesn't make any sense out of it so each year they start put a, putting less and less effort into career mode and that has saddened a lot of longtime career mode fans. The people who buy FIFA to mainly play career mode and let me tell you, it's not only them putting less effort into career mode with each new game. With FIFA 19 they don't even put effort at all. FIFA 18 didn't have many changes when it come to when it came to career mode. They added interactive transfer negotiation cutscenes instead of just adding instead of just delegating, adding more realism and a faster way to make a signing which makes it useful if you want to sign someone on deadline day. They also added the transfer hub which makes it easier to list the players you want to potentially sign and had quick subs which also came in handy in gameplay. FIFA 19 however added next to nothing. Yeah there were some new cinematics and a bigger variety when it comes to swapping players and transfers but not much else has been added. Now you might say that they added the Champions League and Europa League licenses, but to me that's just not enough to justify what is supposed to be a $60 upgrade on FIFA 18. Why is there no option to scout youth players for more countries? Why is there no option to say which position you want for the youth player about to be scouted? Why can't you change your team kit every season? And okay, I understand that it may come down to licensing issues, 
but it doesn't have to be the sponsor. At least changing your kit colors, for example, would be a really cool thing to have. Why is there only 4 save slots for career mode? There's a lot of gaps that need to be filled in career mode. It's fun, but it's also flawed and even broken. Speaking of broken, the game as a whole is filled with bugs and glitches that it's not even funny. The goalkeeper AI in Ultimate Team at least is horrendous, it's absolutely unacceptable. The AI needs to be fixed, this is unacceptable for a game with a big demographic like FIFA. Career mode is filled with even more bugs, players no matter their age or form drop their overall by one randomly, although they did fix that uh, in recent patches. But there's still a lot of bugs and glitches in career mode. FIFA has been broken for a while now and really is unacceptable for a game that costs $60 each year. If you're not going to change much, then at least fix your game, EA. You're not some small indie team in pressure to release FIFA every year. You are EA, a AAA gaming giant with a huge budget, a huge development team, and multiple studios. You can still release FIFA games every year and make them not broken and not the same thing every year. But I fear that the money from Ultimate Team is blinding you more and more every year. Well, my solutions? 1. Speak. Let EA know that you're not accepting them. Tell them whether it's in their Facebook or Twitter account or even uh, making a video sending a message to them. 2. If the first one doesn't work, speak. But not with your mouth, not with your keyboard, with your wallet. Don't buy FIFA every year, at least not for full price. Boycott the games if you're not happy. If you really want to play the new FIFA though, I'd suggest borrowing a copy from your friend or like I said, wait for a big discount. Or just get a used copy. Don't let EA take advantage of you despite your anger for the lack of care for the FIFA user base. 3. There needs to be a proper competitor to FIFA. Don't get me wrong, PES is decent, but unfortunately it has a very niche audience due to it constantly losing licenses to FIFA and having less marketing. Yes, now EA lost the Juventus license to Konami, but that's pretty much it. Almost all the other teams in FIFA don't have their actual name, kits, and stadiums, so someone has to give EA the run for their money. The more competition there is, the less arrogant EA will be and the quicker they will act. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next one.